Yeah, it's been a while since we last checked out the Lumos Auro projector and this time they have a brand new product and this is a rather niche product from them and I never expect them to release this. This is the Lumos Nano Portable Projector. As the name suggests, Nano means small and I'm really surprised when this package arrived at my doorstep. The box is so small that I can't imagine how small the projector it is until I open up and we can see this is the size of the projector and it is just about the size of my palm and you can see a lot of their marketing material has been comparing the size of this projector with another soda can so basically, I just want to tell you, you can bring this around with you and you can have your own personal cinema wherever you want. Whether if you want to be at your home, you're at your uh, parents' place or your friend's place or you just want to simply go out camping or whatsoever, you can have this along with you. So I'll just put this aside and we'll have to look at what kind of accessories they included in the box. First of all, we have this user manual. They basically tell you that uh, what kind of ports, uh, the remote controls, the controls you can use while using the Lumos Nano projector. I'll leave it aside for now. And they also included a special piece of pamphlet for you to publish your review for the product. Well, if you like the product, sure, you can leave your review at their website. So inside they have two boxes with accessories. One of it contains the charger. This is a barrel type charging adapter. So this adapter outputs 20.4 watts of power. And here's my first question to Lumos actually. It's like, hey, since your projector is made for portability, why don't you guys just use USB type C as the power source? Well, the reason is being that the projector industry is still catching up with the latest trends in the market. Well, I sure hope they catch up with the charging standards so they can just use USB Type-C. I can use whatever charger I have home as long as the charger can output a minimum of 20 watts. There's another box in it and we can hear a lot of metallic sound. This is because they actually included a miniature tripod stand for the projector because they actually have a tripod mount at the bottom of the projector. One thing I don't understand is why Lumos actually bundle another tripod for this projector because that one I believe is the big projector stand that is meant for the Lumos Auro. For a projector of this size, I expect them to like have another option or some sort of premium tripod stand for this. Of course, they can include this one, a cheap but it's usable one, and having another option to upgrade to another better or bigger tripod. That would be better. Also included in the box is the HDMI to HDMI cable. And last but not least is a remote control. Uh, they don't actually include any battery in it. Uh, that is obvious given that I don't know if there's some regulations if you want to include batteries in the shipping, but I don't know because this thing already included a built-in battery. So they can actually include some, you know, those factory included AAA batteries. So it makes life easier for consumers when they just unbox and then they have everything ready to go. Otherwise, imagine I don't have any AAA battery with me right now. I have to go to 7-Eleven or nearby store to get the battery. So let's go around the Lumos Nano and see what kind of uh, features they have and the design of this projector. At the front, there's this lens and the projection output. There's nothing much going on here. On the left side, you have a power button and a 3.5 millimeter audio output. At the back, you can see a lot more activities are going on. There's a HDMI, full-size HDMI port here, a DC input, an infrared sensor, which is to detect the infrared command from the remote control, a USB Type-A port, and there's vents around here for the heat 
output because there's a cooling fan in it and here's the speaker for the Lumos Nano yes it does come with a built-in speaker on the right side not much going on but there's a little dial here for you to control or adjust the focus of the projector because sometimes depending on how you position your projector you have to adjust the focus at the top here's things get a little bit interesting because they actually included a capacitive control panel at the top you can adjust the volume the home button the uh, menu button and the back button is all at the top in the middle is one thing i call it a very interesting design because you can use this touchpad to control the cursor to well basically interact with the ui of the projector so without further ado let us just plug this in and get it started once you adjust the focus the text looks sharp and the colors looks just nice i would say black is black white is still white but one thing is very important that uh, you have to make sure the wall you are projecting into is actually white or otherwise if you can get a projector screen that would be way better for whatever you are trying to project on the wall you want to watch so right now because our office don't have any white wall so this is the best we can do so please bear with us so just to demonstrate some of the features on the touchpad just now so as you can see the touchpad even though it may be a little bit small but at least you can use a cursor to navigate around the settings the, the ui you can choose whatever you want to go through and there's this volume control so you can actually slide on it to like adjust the volume and if you want to go back to home just press the home button and then you go back to home so the touchpad is extremely useful if you want to interact with it of course you also have the remote control to adjust all the settings just like how you interact with a, any smart TVs speaking of smart capabilities you can also download more apps from Google Play Store the because it runs Android operating system the limits is technically up to whatever you try to install on this thing and just to demonstrate some of interesting quirks and stuff you can do you can also plug in the mouse or any keyboard so you can use mouse to control so you can see i, I have the mouse in, in connected so as you can see right now i have the lumos nano pointed slightly angled upwards and i don't have to adjust the keystone for the projector because it has auto keystone to do the adjustment for me uh, it only works if you are going for this vertical adjustment but it won't work for the horizontal skewing adjustments so for that you can actually go into settings to do the projection settings like uh, keystone correction if you want to do some uh, minor adjustment for that otherwise brightness adjustment color temperature adjustment you can also do but it depends on whatever preference you want one thing that strikes my interest is the fan speed they actually included five fan speed in the settings so that you can choose whether you want the fan to go in the slowest or you want to go for fastest in other words if you choose to go for slowest maybe you want the Lumos Nano to be quieter you want to enjoy your, your show but the impact might be overheating the lights and whatever components is inside the projector if you go for the fastest yes the fan spins up and gets a little bit noisy a lot noisier as you from here yeah basically it is so it depends on your personal preference you can adjust it i do hope lumos actually included another option which is auto so that they can keep the noise at the lower level if the temperature is not as high as it should but at the same time they can still protect the components from overheating by spinning up the fan occasionally let us just fire up some videos and check out how does it sound
Okay, in terms of the projection, one thing I want to like point out is that the projector, they have marketed to be able to project up to 100 inch of the display. Uh, frankly speaking, for a 1500 lumens brightness, it is kind of fall short to the usual recommendation whereby you will need to be have at least 80 lumens per square feet of projection if you want to do so. So based on the math I've done, the maximum projection is about 80 inch if you want to follow the general guideline of 80 lumens per square feet. So other than that, of course, you will still, you can still push for 100 inch. There's definitely no one stopping you to do that. Uh, the downside is definitely a slightly less uh, bright image and probably the colors may not be that accurate. But frankly speaking, for a projector of this size, I think usually how you will use it is basically put it in front of the wall, maybe about uh, one or two meters away. Then you can project about 50 to 80 inch uh, screen size and that is more than enough for your personal cinema experience. So as for the experience I have seen here right here, it is pretty awesome. The built-in speaker is enough for your own personal enjoyment. Of course, you also can connect it with a 3.5 millimeter output or otherwise there's also Bluetooth connectivity for you to pair with another speakers or you want to use your own headphones if you don't want to disturb your neighbors or any of your family members or staying with you. One thing I need to highlight is the DRM for the Lumos Nano is just L3. So in other words, you can only watch Netflix up to the SD quality, which is 480p. For projectors, right? Because the native resolution for the Lumos Nano is actually 480p. So it doesn't matter if you able to load uh, 720p or 1080p uh, resolution content because the maximum they can actually pump, I mean, post it to the wall is the uh, 480p. But here's the thing I need to point out is that for projectors, the resolution doesn't really matter that much in terms of the size. I mean, depending on the size you're trying to project. For Lumosano, like I said, if you just want to project, 50 inch or 80 inch 480p is more than enough for you to enjoy on the wall like this and any further than that of course that will drive the price up and well the battery life of this thing as well now speaking of the battery life the built-in battery is capable of lasting you about two to two and a half hour just enough for you to finish a movie if it is shorter than two and a half hours if you're trying to watch uh, something like Lord of the Rings, then you better be sure you have a socket nearby for you to keep the projector running. Uh, one particular feature I really like about the Lumos Nano is they support AirPlay. So if you can see, uh, my iPhone immediately identifies the Lumos Nano and when I just select it in the screen mirroring, then immediately it will switch to AirPlay mode and it just projecting whatever I'm looking on the phone. Let's say if I want to watch movie or I just want to play games on, now I can enjoy games in, I don't know, 80, 100 inch experience. Of course, if you want to use touch screen and looking at the wall at the same time, it is obviously not a good idea, but you can always connect a wireless controller to it and you can have this kind of gameplay experience. Otherwise, if you want to just connect the projector for your PC and play Elden Ring on this thing, yes, you can. Just connect the HDMI cable. You can also connect to Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. As long as you have the HDMI output, you're good to go. And AirPlay works seamlessly and it is smooth. So that pretty much covers the uh, well first look and first impression of the Lumos Nano. The original price of this projector is somewhere around 3000 plus ringgit but Lumos is currently offering the Nano at 1499 ringgit Malaysia. Yes, at this point some of you might be a bit shocked about the price for a projector of this size 
but you have to remember this is not the Lumos Auro even though the Auro is cheap but it is big and you need constant power to supply with it so you can project this one is designed and catered for those who want portable projector with them so that they can bring it around especially useful for teachers if they want to bring it to, from class to class so they can do so I remember I read a review of a user sharing he is a teacher and he used the Lumos Nano to bring it to the class so he can project teaching materials to the students so that's all I want to share with you about the Lumos Nano portable projector do let me know what do you guys think about this projector do you think this is the projector you are looking for and I'll see you guys in the next video